One mole of electrons moves from the anode to the cathode of a copper zinc cell. The mass of the copper electrode, what happens to it? Okay, so first of all, if we are moving from uh, anode to cathode, the cathode is where the reduction takes place, and this is the reduction, okay? And so we're gonna expect the mass of the copper to increase. So it's either B or D, okay? And so if we have one mole of um, electrons, okay, then the, the reaction says we have one mole of copper solid for every two moles of electrons, okay? So that would be um, half a mole of copper and then we need to just multiply by the molar mass of copper, which is 63, uh, which is, yeah, 63.5. So 63.5 grams per mole of copper. Okay, and then 63.5 over two is about 31.75 or 31.8. So we get 31.8 grams here, which is D.